Fractional CO2, I think, is someone who is a little older, who has more rhydids, who deeper rhydids. I sort of like CO2 for that indication. Sometimes I really like to do CO2 on scars. You know, if we're trying to even out a scarred area, sometimes I'll do the fractional CO2 with tattoo removal, believe it or not. Um, a lot of people uh, in past years who used Gaussian beam technologies kind of got used to blasting tattoos. And when you blast a tattoo, when you've got a lot of ink and a lot of color, you get too much absorption. And two or three treatments in, you get kind of a subdermal fibrosis. So I sort of like if you hit that point or if you get a tap that somebody else has done and now you're trying to finish it for them, I'll kind of do a light CO2, fractional CO2 pass over it. And then immediately after, do my pass with my 1064, 694, 532 based on the color. And that's kind of a nice way to finish that off. So that's a couple of the ways I would use fractional. CO2. So what we've already done for Michael Scar here is we've already applied a numbing cream for about 25 to 30 minutes and that can be Imla or that can be a combination of for instance a BLT numbing cream which is bupivacaine, lidocaine and tetracaine and you can purchase those at for instance a compounding pharmacy and 25 to 30 minutes is what I would recommend to get the numbing cream working. So for instance, I'm gonna just test on Michael here. Michael, can you feel my fingernail scratching you here away from your scar and that kind of feels sharp? Yep. And then does it feel different or the same over here? Definitely different. Different, yeah, okay, so you're pretty numb there. Perfect, so we'll go ahead and, and get started on the laser treatment. Okay, Michael, so we're gonna do the first pulse here. It gonna, it's gonna sound like little rubber band snaps. Okay, you ready? Yep. Here we go. Good. Okay, another. Okay, Michael, you ready? Yep. Here we go. Good. Another here. Great. How are you feeling? Fine. Perfect. We're done with the treatment. That's it. So Michael, for aftercare treatment, well first of all, how it's going to feel on your skin, it's going to feel like, like a mild sunburn mm -hmm. on your skin okay. for probably the rest of the day and then it should get better. If it's uncomfortable at all for you, you can take some Tylenol or ibuprofen okay. or something like that for any discomfort and that should be all that you need for okay. that. And then we really want to keep this moist because we've sort of made these, these columns, like I mentioned, down into your skin, so you wanna keep it moist. So I recommend using an ointment, um, such as bacitracin, which has a little bit of antibiotic property in it, which I'm gonna put on your scar right now. Okay. And then I'll cover this up with a gauze so that it doesn't get all over your clothes. Okay. And then I would do the Vaseline for about three or four days. Okay. And then after that, I would just use regular lotions okay. on the scar Great. to keep it moist. Perfect. All right. Thank you. Mm-hmm.